Hey folks, and welcome to another session of Silicon Valley Pride Virtual Sessions, our virtual concert series. Whoa, last time we actually saw each other, that was back in what? Silicon Valley Pride around a month ago, one full month ago, where we had Silicon Valley Pride for two consecutive days. So first off, how y'all doing? My name is Sarah. I go by she, her pronouns. And I am the Chief Diversity Officer for Silicon Valley Pride. On the back end, we also have Saldi, who's doing all the back end work, uh, making Pride virtual sessions happen. So thank you so much for joining us this evening. We greatly appreciate it. And we miss you so, 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 so much. Um, first off, um, I think we have to acknowledge that the world is changing day to day. There's a lot of things that are going on, especially during this weekend. And what we want to do is not only continue to celebrate the LGBTQ community, but also amplify all the disparities that are there within the world. So uh, make sure to follow us at Silicon Valley Pride across all social media and on email, Facebook, whatever you have. Um, and just let us know what you want from us and look forward to a lot more events that we have both within creating queer spaces and on top of that within the uh, advocacy work that we also do so please look forward to that uh, but for tonight what we want to do is bring to the stage for tonight's silicon valley pride sessions uh tyler holmes so tyler holmes is a music producer song writer uh, composer, writer, visual, and performance artist who uses their music as a therapeutic device. Uh, Tyler creates a manic digital age take on soul singing by blending a variety of vocal genres, including R&B, folk, goth, and gospel. Autobiographical and absurd, their writing is alluring and uncomfortable, both brutal and beautiful, bringing the audience to a shared space of healing and catharsis, something that I feel that a lot of us need right now, right? They perform with constantly changing electroacoustic arrangements, always finding new ways to showcase an intimate horror, explaining the remaining human element in an increasingly technological society. Uh, their new single is actually available across all streaming platforms, a single called Nothing. Um, everybody, please give it up for Tyler Holmes. Hi. Hey, Tyler, how are you? Doing great, how about you? Good, I know the last time we saw each other was at uh, the Gen Arts event um, hosted by SB Creates and SJ MoMA, so shout out to them. Um, I wanna check in with you. Um, I always do this with a lot of people I say after like big events, but how are you feeling spiritually right now? Hmm, that's mm. a tough one. Let me <laughs> think of a word for how I'm doing spiritually. Um, uh, it's like mixed. I'm feeling like scathed, um, spiritually kind of uh, diminished. But then I, uh, it's kind of a roller coaster because I have moments where I feel really uh, vivid and uh, spiritually connected still. Um, mm -hmm. But it's, it's a complicated time because I feel like a lot of like what keeps me feeling grounded and spiritual is seeing nature, being in nature. And like in California, that's been off of the, off of the docket for things we're allowed to do for a while. Now it's starting to be back on, but this yeah. like, connect from the real world has been interesting. Yeah, I know you performed at Oak Lash 2020 this year. How was that experience? That was uh, that was fun. I made a video for a cover I did of a Ween song on a whim. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was the first band that I ever saw in concert. I don't know why I had that urge. Um, afterward, I thought that I should have like shared a different video, but I enjoyed that video. I thought it was cute. And the, the other performers were amazing. It was a great show. Yeah, absolutely. I know that Oak Lash is joining in, in, in presence year after year, and it's so delightful to see you also be part of that event. Where are you broadcasting off? Uh, where are you broadcasting from right now? Um, I am in my living room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Um, so I just want to know a little bit about your art. How did you get into creating in terms of uh, when it comes to music production, singing, songwriting, composing? And I know that you also 
uh, do music videos as well. And if you folks have not seen it, make sure to check it out. Uh, the video is called Nothing by Tyler Holmes. It's available on YouTube. Uh, but how'd you get into creating and what inspired like a little about a little bit of the concept behind Nothing? So uh, I got into, I've always been an artist and making art since I was a kid. I like to draw and stuff. Um, in like middle school and high school, I would make fake albums that didn't have music because I thought that music wasn't really accessible to me. And when I finally got a computer, I started messing around with sounds and eventually that turned into me like being more of a career musician over you know 15 years of chipping away at it and trying something that was like very out of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't really like classical, tr classically trained. I never did that stuff. In college, I took like piano classes. So that was helpful, but I didn't take that many of them. Um, and uh, yeah, I think for me, trauma and like having a place to put dark feelings, emotions, or thoughts that don't really have a safe place to go in the world has always been really at the center of why I create. Um, having a traumatic childhood, being a, uh, a black queer person, um, a non-binary person in this world, there's, uh, there's always plenty of traumas coming my way. And uh, I think um, yeah. I've done a lot of, in the past I've done a lot of, you know, hurting myself, um, trying not to really hurt other people too much or do anything like that. But that's a part of growing up as well. And I think uh, the, I think I try mostly to put that into my art and that's why I make the work that I do. That's why I'm a scary queen. Um, and uh, nothing is, I feel like I often write songs that are about me and the other person at the same time. And nothing is about um, it's definitely about masculinity and this notion that femme, femme people, women um, have this relationship with masculinity where we feel that it offers us some sort of a safety or a validation and that it's like has this great importance that goes beyond our own safety, our well-being, what we actually want and physically need and like you know, what can actually harm us in the end. So the song is, um, you know, I throw myself, I throw my life away for nothing. I throw my life away for you. Um, the concept is about me sort of realizing like, oh, my life is worth more than this. And for other people, like, it's very easy for me to tell, you know, my girlfriends, you know, that man is nothing that he's like, not worth your life. It's dangerous. Uh, but to reflect on that, in how I act and interact with masculinity is, I think, really important. So that's what that song is about. Very cool. And folks, if you had not had a chance to check out Tyler, um, I see Solly put the little the Venmo, the PayPal, and Instagram. Make sure you drop a follow. Um, did you have any new music coming up anytime soon? Because I know you just dropped this thing. So is that a, a clue of some more great music from uh, you to come? Uh, yeah, I have a lot of music coming out. So. Nothing was released, I think, in June, and uh, that was a response to a few things. It was like very immediate, um, but uh, since before that, my uh, long play, my LP has been done. It's coming out on Ratskin Records. I think we're going to do the new year now. It was initially slated for November, mm -hmm. but I think we're going to do the new year now, and it's 12 songs. It's uh, electroacoustic. It's a lot of production, a lot of players. There's uh, flute, cello, um, actual drums, guitar, bass. There's a lot of different instruments and a lot of electronic stuff. And uh, it's called Nightmare in Paradise. Um, yeah. Very cool. And I always ask this to all the guests of Silicon Valley Pride Sessions. Any influences that help inspire your work? Oh, yeah. There's a uh, there's a lot, you know, I'm a, a product of the 90s. So my my inspirations from the 90s are like, I've always been obsessed with Tom York. I was very into Nine Inch Nails as a kid. Uh, Bjork and Mariah are like my divas. Um, <laughs> Butterfly is still my favorite album, will always be my favorite album ever. It's perfect, start to finish. Uh, Missy Elliott was very important for me as like a weird black person. Um, 
And Tricky uh, is another, like a trip hop musician that always inspired me a lot. People that like reinforced that I could be as weird as I wanted to and still be myself. Yeah. Yeah, for me, um, Bjork's debut was part of my like growing up. So yeah. definitely feel you on that. And I think like, it seems like Mariah is just like the polar opposite, but that's so awesome. <laughs> like, <laughs> in the same space, it's just like, huh. Interesting answer. Um, any plans for closing out 2020 other than working on the work that you're doing? Hmm, I, I'm i not sure. It's going to be my birthday soon. I'm trying to figure out how to celebrate that. Um, <laughs> and yeah, the winter is not my favorite. I don't like being cold. So Same. with this uh, not having to leave the house thing, I'm probably just going to be bundled up playing Animal Crossing, working on my music videos. Yeah. Maybe I'll take a trip somewhere tropical if I possibly can, please. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Well, folks, Tyler Holmes on the Silicon Valley Pride Session stage. I'll come back in a little bit, but I'm going to just pass it off to you, Tyler. Um, and everybody, please enjoy the show. OK. Uh, I'm going to be joined by Jeremy on the guitar. Yes. Okay, let's do this. Okay, this song is called Sweating Milk. Thank you. 
Next, Jeremy. I think it's confuse me. Cool. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
blushing with perfume brought the dead girl back to life all her beauty's been exhumed engorged with hope and right petals blushing with perfume brought the dead girl back to life all her beauty's been exhumed engorged with hope and right petals blushing with perfume brought the dead girl back to life all her beauty's been exhumed Confuse me, confuse me, confuse me, confuse. What are you doing now, Jeremy? Song. Cool. <gasps> Ooh, look at the light change. Is it spooky? Do we like it? I kind of do. It's <laughs> good. Maybe we'll do that again. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Getting uh, audience, you're getting a lot of acoustic renditions of songs from my upcoming album. The first one didn't make it on the album, but I love that one. And uh, this one on the album is acoustic, so this isn't different. But preview. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. <laughs>
on my last carry The limits of your new narrative And I feel great I'm starting with a clean slate Full of ashes and holes and trays Your image around my whole clarity Pave an avenue for my grave With love and compassion erase me I'm just the memory of Mars Fear all times I was once like you I need disaster Choke me later, tell me what's a girl to do I want it bad, but not as bad as I want you All my memories of you, it's working. I'm patient, fish in line to you, dear. And don't fear, I'll be here. I got my hopes up. I'm gone before you feel Maybe you should feel before you think. Lovely. Shout out to Keith for dubbing that last part of that song, the Dave Matthews part, because it's all I can think of when I think of that song. Yes. <laughs> okay, we're doing Nightmare? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> ha. Ha. Control everything. 
something ice for hire. Talking about a nightmare in paradise. Talking about a nightmare in paradise. Talking about a nightmare. Terrific. Beautiful. And then? Angel. Wait. We did song? We did. Okay. Yeah. We did them all? Yeah. We did the guitars? It confused me. Song, canvas, nightmare. Okay, good. Chill. We're getting there, girls. Nice. So we're going to do Angel. Let's see how this works. I'm going to use the computer. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Let's read this. Let me go here. Oh. Is that nice? I'm your angel. 
Thanks, Jeremy. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's changing. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see. Let's do this game. So I was going up a little remix for this track for y'all today, and it is about 10 minutes long, so I think that'll put us right over the edge. Ha, ha, ha. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Feels like this can be. Oh, that's kind of cute. Feels true. Thank you. 
That was not just, that was an experience. Oh my God, I took me back to the level with that one. Oh my God, with everything. Um, Tyler, thank you so much for blessing the stage. It's quite an honor to see kind of like where, where you took us from the beginning. I didn't even know where you're going with this. Um, <laughs> this 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 whole experience towards the end, that's, well, took me to another level at least. <laughs> awesome. Um, so Tyler, where can we find your music at? Where can we follow you at? And how can we uh, uh, get get some uh, a hold of your your amazing work? So, thanks for that. My uh, Instagram is the Tyler Holmes, and uh, yeah, it's down below. Also, my Venmo is also the Tyler Holmes. All my things are the Tyler Holmes. Um, my music is on Bandcamp. Uh, for sale so you can buy it from me that's ideal especially like on Fridays sometimes Bandcamp gives artists like all of the cash which is beneficial so if you can support me that way that's great um, Ratskin Records has some of my music that is not on Bandcamp it's on the Ratskin Records Bandcamp um, you can purchase I think it might be one record that still has tapes left um, on YouTube you can check out the music video for nothing um, I would love it if everybody would check that out. It's um, a beautiful, it was a beautiful video and a beautiful experience directed by uh, my boob, Gabe Christian, and uh, filmed by uh, Marla Miles, edited by my sister, uh, Scam Likely, also Your Heinous, on Twitch and Instagram, um, and starring uh, Kim Ip, also known as Krim, uh, and uh, yeah, I think that's that's most of the stuff. 
Very cool. Well, everybody, big virtual round of applause for Tyler. Uh, Tyler, thank you so much for joining us for Silicon Valley Pride sessions. Is there anything, any other shout outs you want to do? Shout out to Jeremy. Um, that was Thanks, awesome. Jeremy. Shout out to Jeremy. Thank you, Jeremy, for coming through. Yeah, the lights. So thank you for coming through. Any final shout outs uh, for you folks? Uh, yeah, I would like to shout out, of course, Ratskin Records. Uh, Wizard Apprentice and Charmy, always very helpful. Um, I would like to shout out, uh, let's see, who do I need to shout out that I didn't shout out already? Uh, Rich Love Leather, who makes my costumes. Shout out to Elena and Keith, who we're missing right now. Um, I'm, oh, this is what I always fuck up the shout outs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> who did I not shout out? Should have thought of this. I didn't. I didn't think about the shout out section. Yeah, it, it was really in the notes. <laughs> well, shout out to you folks for coming through again, folks. Uh, Silicon Valley Pride sessions. We do this every month. Uh, feel free to follow us on Instagram at SV Pride on Facebook on YouTube. But again, Tyler, thank you folks so much. Uh, Y'all have a blessed evening and weekend. Stay safe. And um, thank you for, so much for uh, just joining us this evening, y'all. Thank you so much. <laughs> all right. Fair. It was great to talk to you. Oh, yeah. and thank Saldi. Yeah, That's Saldi. Thank you, Saldi for doing the tech. Yeah, Saldi always on the back end. Thank you folks so much. Have a wonderful weekend. And uh, we'll see you next time on Silicon Valley Pride Sessions. This is, thanks, Sarah.